Good afternoon, Jim Baird from uh, RJO. Notes and bonds, quiet uh, but lower. Uh, one of the few lower days all month. You remember, uh, uh, well, it has been almost a month. Uh, last unemployment report uh, changed things quite a bit. We uh, put a Pac-Man low in. Uh, some serious responsive buying came in, and it seems like we've been up for three weeks here straight. We're finally down a little bit today, about 20 ticks. Well, why? Well, the stock, stock market obviously has a bid. Uh, pretty serious bid uh, today, uh, even though, uh, you know, coming in this morning, the Wall Street Journal was uh, uh, all worried about the cracks in the, in the market. Uh, the buyers didn't seem to care. We came in higher, held, uh, pushed higher, immediately higher uh, than Asia and Europe had already uh, brought us, and uh, we're trading near the highs of the day. Today, uh, it doesn't seem to have hurt the notes and bonds too bad. I mean, to be you know, for the bonds to be down 20 ticks uh, after uh, uh, you know rallying 10, 11 full full points over the course of the last three weeks is a pretty mild correction. However, it may be the start of something. I mean, if if the stocks do hold this rally and push up later in the week, we could come under some pressure because of uh, uh, just the. People would rather be in equities than, than, than bonds. However, the relative value compared to European rates is still there. That is really the, the big, big story, which will cause, will prevent our rates from backing up in a serious way. We have both, uh, for instance, uh, even Italian bonds and Spanish bonds significantly under our tenure. Obviously, the German Bund, uh, uh, almost a full base, a full hundred basis points below. Our tenure, there, there is a, there is a floor into these things. It's uh, too early uh, to expect the bears to get a real, real advantage. Now, uh, yeah, I mean, if the stocks and, and if the stocks falter, which uh, I'm not really in that camp, uh, uh, you know, then possible we'll even assault the January highs. By the way, we've had kind of a hyperactive start to the year, uh, given the, how relatively low the yields are. The ten-year note began near about 230, pressed all the way down to 165. Uh, after the last month's uh, uh, unemployment number, uh, all the way uh, back, uh, the yields back up to 2%, tested 2%. We're trading around 190 today. <clears throat> you had all those swings up, and it about equals what the yields were on the highs in January. It's almost a one point, uh, one and a half point full basis point swing. So there are trading opportunities in these notes and bonds. I mean, currently, uh, uh, you know, we're quiet, but that typically sets up the next opportunity. What could trigger the next op opportunity, the next uh, leg, one way or another, is, of course, uh, this new unemployment number coming. There will be an abbreviated trading session on Good Friday. Number released as normal, 7.30 Central Time. I uh, have a couple hours to digest it, and the markets will close early, thankfully. Uh, you know, we'll see if, uh, if this one can be as big a deal as the March one. Other uh, important uh, economic numbers may push things around a little bit. Uh, Chicago uh, uh, PMI tomorrow, consumer confidence tomorrow, uh, construction spending on uh, on Wednesday, or excuse me, Thursday, uh, and uh, of course the non-farm payroll, monthly non-farm payroll. Uh, there is a big grain report tomorrow uh, for uh, uh, you grain traders. The, uh, we'll get some information about uh, how the farmers are are going to plant this year, and uh, that may be interesting uh, in that sector. I can reach at 800-500-2461 to discuss any futures market. Mm -hmm. Futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for okay. all investors.